high quality content right here. It's the highest quality content. You gotta know by the black and white filmmaking that this is content that you're not gonna find anywhere else, okay? Sorry, I'm trying to I'm trying to sell it. Is it working? Probably not. <laughs> Somebody asked me recently if I smoke. Is there is there a large number of people on the internet that have a smoking fetish? Because I mean, smoking is pretty cool. I don't think I have a fetish for it, but I, I do think that it makes you cool. Literally, it lowers your body temperature. Did y'all know that? Well, now you do. You're full of information. Some of it is totally unnecessary, but we are a woman, so it kind of goes with the territory. So a lot of people insist that I'm a man, which is awesome. Since I'm not making babies, I might as well just be a man, you know? It's not a joke. I know I'm supposed to make babies, but I'd rather make art. Because in order to make babies, you gotta make them with somebody. You know, you can't just do it by yourself, and if you do, that's kind of fucked up. Because you're not raising that kid right. Like, I'm a traditionalist. Like, the person in my head, the person that I wish I was, is a traditionalist. The person that I wish I was is a housewife. The person that I wish I was has, like, 15 children. Right? Everybody has that. Everybody has that fantasy of like, this is what I would do if I wasn't myself. <laughs> you know? And I see the value of that. But because I'm myself, I have to make art. And I don't think that If you're like a tortured soul, you know, like that kind of artist. Because I think that there's like, you know, varying degrees of that. Much like everything with mental illness, I think there's a spectrum. And I think that the crazier you are, the more of an artist you're gonna have to be in order to deal with it. And it pains me. Oh my goodness, get on. Get on, bitch, get on. There you go. They were pressured. They were pressured by the car behind them to speed up. But, well, never mind. I was gonna point out their lack of self-awareness, but they just gained some. They turned off their turn signal. I'm so proud of them. Well, a lot of the time, you have to have a faster car encourage people in the fast lane to not drive slow. Okay, so you can use your turn signal when it's unnecessary, but then when it is necessary, you don't use it anymore. See, no self-awareness. That person uses it. Okay, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. That's a personal pet peeve when I'm using a tricycle. Because like I've said, it's the easiest, most effective, simplest form of communication, and so many people choose not to do it. I bet you that person in front of me is addicted to Twitter. <laughs> anyway. So what I was talking about in relation to art, there's a spectrum. So, I think Mark Maron talks about this, about how like people that are crazy are gonna be better at comedy. Like people that 
are more mentally ill are going to have more of a need to do something like that, he's absolutely right. And that's where all the bitterness comes from. And I think that the bitterness is extended in both directions because
medication being bad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of stuff is bad. It's like obvious that it's bad. The TV is bad. The news media is bad. The phones are bad. The internet's bad. And there are a lot of things that can be accomplished, I suppose, but. Another thing that's bad, we don't talk about it enough. We don't like planes, we don't like aircraft. And the reason why we don't like aircraft is because it's like way too easy for them to use it against us. And what the fuck is that? Yeah, that looks like a unidentified object. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if that's what that is. We should follow it. Where did it go? <laughs> it's it's around here somewhere. Hold on, we gotta speed up. Dude, did y'all see that? And now it's gone. It was here and then it just disappeared. It's gotta be around here, dude. Where did it go, dude? That is crazy. Am I hallucinating? If you live in America, that question will be asked eventually. <laughs> Dude, where is it? Where, did y'all see that? Maybe I am just delusional. Hmm. Well, that's crazy though. That was here. Like, I'm gonna have to watch this video later to make sure that I wasn't <laughs> Seeing things that weren't actually there, okay? But thank you very much. We appreciate that. Love you, Chevrolet. We love you so much. And that that's really creepy. I mean. <laughs> so creepy. See, we're gonna maintain a really awesome sense of humor about all this shit because that's all we can really do. You know? When everybody else is on Twitter self-destructing, you have to be the alternative. You have to be one person that refuses to get a smartphone because you know that. What you see right now, that's the end result of a society so stupid they choose technology over the natural world. Unidentified flying object is now gone. Yeah, that was really weird. You think that these things happen just for us? Maybe. Maybe they saw me coming and they said, all right, now's the time. Do it now, do it now. <laughs> I see that little camcorder, maybe she'll film it. I mean, what kind of technology do they have? They're so far advanced that they know precisely where Amy Gross is at all times, even though Amy Gross doesn't have a government tracking device. We do have this. This is a flip phone. Though I know it can still track me. And I know that they can still track my purchases and all that. Don't think that I don't know these things, okay? People want to like one up me because I've 500, 500,000 up, upest them. <laughs> You've been upest, <laughs> right? No, but seriously, it's like a coat. Whenever I say I don't have a smartphone, they're like, oh, oh you know, the, the government is still gonna fuck you. You, you know that, right? Uh, hashtag, uh, hashtag, uh, hashtag, uh. <laughs> It's just dribble. That's all the people are doing. They're like little babies. But babies, I don't even want to compare y'all to babies because babies are babies. You know, they're, they're supposed to dribble. But you see 
everybody in society doing that, no matter how old they are. And everybody's blaming politics, so blaming Joe Biden, or whoever the fuck is reading off that teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. And I know it's not funny. Like, this stuff is, is really not funny at all. I mean, a lot of people are getting hurt. A lot of people are dying. But what they don't realize is that was already happening, man. That was already happening. People already choose death and destruction. It's just more obvious now. Okay, wh why are y'all stopping? It's fucking green. It's green. Are you retarded? It's fucking green. <sighs> anyway. I bet you they were on their phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because anytime that you all right, a red light. That's a golden opportunity for you to check your phone. You know, let's make sure that you're still important. I can only assume. Because people, people don't know how to have two seconds to themselves. They don't know how to be bored. Or just, just sit there, you know, just sit there. Nothing's going on, just fucking sit there and wait. Like, people can't do that. Like, trust me, I know because I see them, like, uh, at, at my restaurant where they come and pick up their food. Like, they have to have their phone up there with them while they wait for their food. And they're not even waiting that long. It's just like these door dashers I keep complaining about. These door dashers that have no people skills whatsoever. They can barely even tell you what they're there for. You know, there are people that come through the drive-thru that I guess they order through their app or something like that, and they can't even talk to the person taking their order. They just have their phone and they're just like, you know, it's like a, it's like a membership card, like, Mark of the Beast, right here. <laughs> really? See, look at this shit. You can see this shit, but it happened. This person in front of me, I didn't even have the opportunity. I, I was talking to you, Vortex, I didn't have the opportunity to get mad about it. But this person in front of me wasn't going because of what I'm talking about, what I can only assume. That the reason why everything is really bad is because of phones. The reason why people are crazy is because of phones. The reason why people um, can't pay any attention to anything. They don't have any people skills. They don't know how to interact. But you know... People get on to me for this sentiment because they're like, well, what can you do about it? What, what, do you, what do you propose to do about it? I mean, y'all want to fat shame. <sighs> we should phone shame, okay? <laughs> Nobody's gonna care. I'm just gonna keep stuff in their face with cheese fries, right? Oh, but that is a good question though. What can be done? Absolutely nothing, right? Well, I don't agree with that. I'm not a nihilist. As easy as that is. Don't think that I expect anybody to change. 
I'm well aware of the fact that everybody's a phony baloney, okay? I'm well aware of that. I'm well aware of like how far gone everybody is into this digital world, this cyber sphere where everybody can pretend that they're a lot more important than they really are, where everybody can pretend that things actually matter. Yeah, that's why you don't remember them. <laughs> that's why you have no recollection of what happened three days ago, because it was so important. It was so important that you wouldn't shut up about it until something else became more important. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, I uh, didn't do comedy last night because uh, it was storming and I didn't feel like driving out to Nashville and that. But I'm going tonight. Uh, I believe I'm going to. Well, I know I'm going to the Wee Bar, but um, I might go to the coffee shop too. That place is like degenerate. Degenerate out the wazoo. But they always were, that's the thing. Like long before, you know, gays were accepted in our society, like that was the place to be accepted if you were queer. You know, I got nothing hateful. I got nothing hateful to say about that. Like this girl I work with, she's gay. You know, she's married. To a woman. She'd be the first to tell you that she doesn't give a shit about her wife. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like she She's funny. But anyway. Yeah, we're not supposed to be hateful towards people. That's fucking stupid. Because you never know, like, who you could use. And you don't, you don't know, like, what their purpose is. And that's what's so stupid about all these people that say the things that they say. Because we just really don't know, like, what the purpose is. And I've had to realize this myself. Like, a lot of the stuff that I think is so bad and so wrong, you know, like, God is still using it because he's just amazing that way. You know, with the social networks... <laughs> The social networks have done a far better job of exposing so many things about our society and how screwed up it is. I mean, Facebook is like a microscope, you know? And these people can't wait to tell on themselves. They can't wait to prove how terrible they are. So, you know, as much as I hate it, you know, I don't involve myself with it because I think it's satanic, but I, I think that God is using it though in order to, to prove that these people are all fucking insane. And not, not cool like me, but, you know, just <laughs> insane in not such a fun way. Insane in such a way that, you know, you're trying to get people fired from their jobs and you're ruining people's lives and you have no conscience whatsoever. You know, that's not good. But people don't realize that, you know, having a phone that enables that. It exacerbates that part of our personality that is somewhat sociopathic and narcissistic, that heightens it, okay? And so whenever you give into that, like even if you're not behaving that way, it's like you're still giving into a culture that says that that's okay, which is why I'm so, mm, mm, Mm. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's like a dance move of like my vitriol. My refusal. My refusal to give in to that aspect of our personality that is not positive or Christ like. You know, I want to chase the things that make me a better person, not the things that make me a worse person. So, anyway, I think I've yacked enough.